हेलो फ्रेंड्स और अस्सलाम वालेकुम वेलकम टू माय चैनल आईपीओल डिजाइनिंग डेवलपर माय नेम इज इंशाल बेग आई एम अ फुल स्टैक डेवलपर एंड ग्राफिक डिजाइनर लाइक इन प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव लर्न दैट व्हाट इज ट्रिब्यूट पेज इन एचटीएमएल एंड सीएसएस एंड वी आल्सो डिजाइन दैट एंड आई होप यू ऑल एंजॉयड दैट क्लास नाउ इन दिस क्लास वी विल सी दैट हाउ टू मेक अ सर्वे फॉर्म इन एचटीएमएल एंड सीएसएस एंड आई होप यू विल आल्सो एंजॉय दिस क्लास लाइक यू आर एंजॉयिंग ऑल प्रीवियस क्लासेस ऑफ पाइथन एंड प्रीवियस क्लास ऑफ एचटीएमएल एंड सीएसएस ओके सो Let's start. Now, first of all, you have to open your text editor. Okay, in HTML and CSS, we were working with brackets, like you all know. Okay, in previous class. So now I will also open my brackets text editor. Okay, so just I will close that files over here. Okay, so now here you can see that, like I have telling you, you can take any text editor you want to. Okay, but I prefer you to take brackets text editor. Okay, because it is full featureful and uh, it contains many feature. Okay. so just over here i will take new file okay so just i will close it okay i will open it again over here okay it was just lagging so just i will open it so now here uh, the file is saying like that and now just i will close this file over here and close this file just i will take new file and now i will save it okay so just i will save it as like sign in okay uh, only sign okay just i will write sign dot html and now i will save it on desktop so uh, just i will Select the location of desktop and save it. Okay, so now like we will take another new file like you all know. Okay, and save it as CSS. So I will write the name like sign dot CSS and on desktop we will also save that. So just you have to save it. Okay, so just I am telling you one thing like if you are saving HTML file in one location and CSS file in another location, so it will be a uh, difficulty for you. Okay, if you save HTML in another location. And CSS in another location, it can't link. Okay, you have to just uh, save both of them in one location. Okay, so I will just uh, uh, bigger size my font so you can see my coding over here. Okay, so just I will do it. Okay, so now here you can see this. Now I have written one like previously. We have download this emit tag from which uh, we can work with our codes easily. Okay, so today we will just uh, do like I will write one exclamation mark and just press tab over here. So here you can see all my starting code of HTML has been. Come automatically. Here you can see. Now, here just I will do like I will just uh, underneath the body tag I will make h1 tag. Okay. So now in this h1 tag I will just write over here sign in. Okay. So now I will write sign in over here. Okay. Here you can see that I have written this sign in and I will just write class. Not class. I will just define my ID of main over here. Okay. So just here I have defined my ID and I have defined like h1 which is sign in. Okay. Over here and now. I will just come over here, and now I will just write over here like my form tag. Okay, so just I will come over here, write over here form. Then I will just press like that, and now I will just erase this. Okay, so just when I am erasing that, I will just do like press enter. Okay, so now when I have done that, just I will do like over here. I will just press backspace. Okay, just press enter. And now I will link it. Okay, link my style sheet with my HTML sheet. Okay, so I will write over here link. And then tab. So here you can see this. My all starting code of link is come. Okay. So I will just write over here sign dot css. Okay, which is our file name. So I will write over here sign dot css over here. So now here you can see this. We have made it one tag which is called form. Now here I will uh, make the tag which is called input. Okay. Because when you are making any uh, submit form or any survey form over here, so uh, in survey form you have to write like you can see the boxes which comes. So These uh, boxes are come with this input tag. Okay, so I will define my input tag, and now I will just press tab over here. Okay, so just I am defining like that, and now I will write the class over here. Okay, so class will be of input field. Okay, so now I will uh, I am writing the class randomly. You can write any class you want to. I am writing the class of input field over here. Okay, so just in the front of it, I will write placeholder. Okay, so in placeholder, I will define equal to, and now I will define enter. Your name over here, okay? I am defining like that. Enter your name. Just I will uh copy that and I will paste it many times, okay? Paste, 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 paste. Just I will not paste it again over here, okay? So I will write over here. Enter your email, okay? I will write over email and I will just uh write over here email and here I will write like password, okay? So I will write over here password. So uh you can write over here password but if you want the figures in password okay like when you have when you are writing any password so the figures is coming in circles over here small circles the figures are coming okay so if you want that figures you have to over 
here you have to also write password okay it is really important to write because if you don't write password over here and uh, write password over here and when you are writing password in browser in your box so it will be showing your password okay if you want like your password will not show so just you have to write here uh, password over here okay so now just uh, i have defining like that and now here i will define my phone number okay like that i will write over here phone and no just it will be like that small form i am writing over here so now just i will do like i will erase this okay so now i will do like i will come over here and i will write over here text area okay so i will write over here text area okay when you are making any tag of message over here like uh, when you are writing any message to your uh, boss or client over here so we made the tag which is called a uh, text area okay so now we have made it the tag of text area now in this name i will write over here enter your message okay so just uh, i will erase this all and only i will write over here message okay so just i will write like that and come over here and you have to do like i will erase this all okay and now here i will write these all things and here i will define my text okay and now in this i will uh, write like that and now here this is enough now i will write placeholder okay so in placeholder i will just define over here enter just i will write enter your i will write over here enter your message okay in placeholder over here so here you can see this i have defined many things over here okay so just it is enough over here and now just i will press back space over here and here just i will define one thing which is called like this is okay so just i will write over here come over here write over here div class and now the class will be of like container box okay so class is like that we are defining of container box okay so just i will uh, it will not container box it will be contact okay so i am defining contact box just like that i will just write like that and i will just copy this close div tag and just come over here and paste over here so now till here we have done our work and now i will just save that and if i show you in browser so just uh, go to live preview okay just press this it is called live preview over here so now here you can see this now our all things are coming okay so now just i will uh, minimize that and now we will style that all okay so we will also make one button over here but we will do that in in the end over here but first of all we have we have to style that all so i will just write this sign and write over here margin which will be zero pixel okay so you can write zero or zero pixel if you want to but i am writing zero pixel and write over here padding which will be also zero pixel okay so just i am writing like that and now this will be one thing like you have to go to google chrome okay and just i will minimize that this one google chrome okay so just i will go to google chrome and take the fonts over here okay so just i will work with my font which is called open sans okay so i will just uh, open my google fonts and write over here open sans okay open sans so here you can see this my open sans just i will press it and now i will take regular 401 okay so just i will select this style then i will copy this okay like i have telling you then i will copy this link then i will just minimize that and i will just do like i will paste my link over here okay not over here just i will paste that in the style sheet okay so just if i save that and now i will go over here and write over here body okay like here you can see this i have written one body tag over here and here we have closed that body tag okay so uh css will contains it this body tag and uh, when we are styling anything in this body tag so we are styling in these all things okay we are styling these all things over here okay so i will show you that how is that okay so i will just come over here write over here font family okay like we have download the font family of open sans so i will write open sans comma sans serif then i will write over here background color okay so background color will be i will like to have the background color of ef okay ef 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 okay just i will show you what the background colors is the color it is the color code okay you can take it from any website or you can also take it from google over here okay so just i will go over here and hit refresh so here you can see it is automatically come here you can see this so now we have done our work till over here now just when you have done that all i will define my h1 okay so now in this h1 i will uh, do like font size will be 30 pixel okay our font size will be 30 pixel then our font weight should be sorry the font weight should be of 700 okay 
and here it should be like text align means it it will be in center okay because we want our text in center so now here we have defined that all things over here now here i will come and write over here dot and i will write over here input okay input and i will write over here input field okay because we have defined uh, our class of input field but uh, we have to do another thing over here here you can see this this text area okay so i will write over here like i will define here class okay so just i will write class over here it will be class of like input field also but i will write another class just uh, it will be like field sorry the spelling is incorrect now it will be input field we have defined our class now here it will be like message okay so just i will erase that i will write over here text area equal field okay so oh, just it is not a equal it is dash okay so just write over here text area dash field over here okay so just i will save that i will go to my css file and write over here okay so just i will define my width first of all so width of my input field will be 500 pixel means my box will be of 500 pixel over here okay and now here i will define like it will be now margin okay it will have margin over here with top okay just i will erase this margin over here and here i should be writing like padding okay so the padding should be at top and it will be 10 pixel and now here it should be like just i will press enter over here okay just i will write over here background okay just it is this and i will write over here background color should be of ff okay so i will write ff f this uh, color means fff this this is a color code of white okay so you can also take it from any website over here or any google link okay but i have written that so you can just copy that one this one okay so just i have writing my white color okay so just i will write over here box shadow okay so i have to give shadow of 0 0 20 pix which will be 0 again and now here i will define 999 now here i have defined that all things now here i will define my top okay so top will be at 50 percent and now my left will be also 50 percent okay so just i i want like top uh the space from the top will be of 50 percent and the space from the left will be also from 50 percent okay so i have defined top 50 percent and then left 50 percent okay so now here i will define transform okay transform and now i will define translate which will be minus 50 percent and comma i will again write minus 50 percent over here okay so i have defined that all over here and i will now i have defined my translate and transform over here okay so now i will define my position okay so i will write over here position which will be now absolute okay so just i will show you in browser how it is looking just come over here and hit refresh so now here you can see this this is looking like that okay we will just uh, correct that all things over here so just if i minimize that over here okay so now here you can see this still here we have done our work and now i will just come over here and now just i will write dot and now with this dot i will define my input okay so now just i will uh, do anything again okay so just i will i am i have written my input field just i will show you like here it is my input field i have defined these all things with my input field over here and i have also defined my input field with text area field okay so i will define my text area field over here so i will show you that how is that so just if i save that and now if i show you okay so just here you can see this i have show you again okay so now like this you can make that okay so i will just do like that and now i will come over here and i will just uh, do dot over here and with this dot i will write just write a form okay so i am writing form and like that i have written and now here i will define margin okay which will be of 35 pixel just if i save that and if i go here and just uh, if i hit refresh here you can see this margin of 35 pixel has been correct and now i will come over here write dot and now here i will define my text area just write over here text area and just i will erase that over here and now here we have defined that all things over here which we have to define and now i will just write over here contact okay so i will write contact box okay it was the incorrect okay because we have written input field in second one we will define input field okay so now here you can see this now it has been changed and it is looking like that here you can see okay so now we have changed it to contact box and now i will write over here dot input field okay now i, I will write input field okay 
so i will write input field which will be like that and here i will define my width which will be 400 pixel long and it height should be a 40 pixel okay so i will uh, i will just want my width okay so height will be i will just want uh, small height and width should be long okay so now here i will just press enter and now here i should uh, have margin top with it which will be of 10 pixel okay or uh, not 10 it will be 20 pixel okay so i will define my padding left it should be of 10 pixel okay and my i will also define my padding right it should be also of 10 pixel okay and here i have defined these all thing and now i will define my border okay border radius which should be of 14 pixel and my border should be of like it will should be of one pixel solid and it should be of 777 okay like it is the color code okay hexa color code so you can also take it in from any uh, like any website over here okay so just i will write over here outline should be none so if i show you in browser if i save okay just come over here save that come over here so now here you can see now you can see how it's, is that looking really cool okay here you can see this so here i we have made it uh, our sign in page okay just it is uh, we have to just add some things over here okay so i will tell you what things we should have to add so just when you have done that all okay just i will come underneath and now here i will define so now here you can see this our enter your message is just uh, too small okay we want this big okay so just i will big it okay so for big you have to just for bigging so here you have to do like just go to your bracket text editor so now we have to big our just message text so i will write over here dot text area okay because we have defined our uh like we have defined our class of text area dash field in uh our message tag okay so i will just write over here height just i will write height oh sorry spelling should be correct height should be of 150 pixel maximum and it padding should be top and it should be of 10 pixel okay so if i show you again save that over here hit re so here you can see this now how is that looking really cool okay here you can see this now we have our enter your message with really big okay it's uh column is really big over here here you can see now we have done till here but if we want over here button okay so we will also take that first of all just mini just uh go your brackets okay just i will grow over here and now i will do like i will just go to sign in dot html and underneath this text area tag i will make one tag which is called button okay so i will take button tag and now in this button i will uh, just name my button which I want to so I will write send message okay you can take any button name you want to so I am giving it send message okay so just I will write like that and now here I should do like I will write diff tag and just press tab over here and write over here the class of btn btn now just I will uh, copy that and I will just uh, write over here paste and now just I will save that and I will just come over here and now I will define my class so i will write dot btn and now i will write over here like border radius should be border radius should be of 20 pixel color should be of white okay this color means that it is not the background color of uh, the uh, button okay it is a color of like its font okay so its color should be of white and now here we will define like its margin top okay so its margin top should be of 18 pixel padding should be of 10 pixel okay and here we have defined margin top padding okay and now here we will define its font size what font size should we have in our some in our send message button so i will define 12 pixel so if i refresh it and just if i we look that our button refresh so just there is problem coming okay so just i will uh, close that and i will just minimize that okay so just we have written this btn but if i write button over here okay only button just button and now just uh, erase this dot because it is not a class so just i will save that over here hit refresh also now here you can see now our button is over here but it is not showing really cool okay so we will just make it cool over here so now just we have defined our padding font size margin top color and just like that we have defined many things now i will just come over here define my background color of my button so i will write over here background color should be of green okay so just i will defining green and i will just write over here in the end i will uh, just nothing i will define just if i save and i will just come over here and hit re 
so here you can see this our button has been coming but i will just come over here and i will write over here border and here the border should be none and here we will write border should be none and cursor should be pointer okay so it will now look really cool okay so if i save that and if i show you so here you can see now our button is looking cool okay but now we have made it these all things now if we want like if we our button has a hover effect okay if we just uh, click on it and its color changes okay so we will also do that so just come over here and just copy this button okay and just come over here right over here and paste that and just write uh, this colon and write over here hover okay so i will write hover and just you have to write color of hover which you have to change so i will write background color and i will write over here like sky blue so now we have just uh, write that and now i will just write transition which will be of 0 point second okay this transition mean that uh, it will be just uh, some times to just uh, change the color okay like i will show you just come over here hit refresh so just if i hover on it so here you can see this now the color is changes beautifully here you can see now when i when i am hovering on it the color is changes slowly here you can see okay so like this you can give any color you want to in hover effect okay so i have given a sky blue over here okay so just if you want to change this color okay means you can see this white color over here okay so just if you want to change this white color you can also change that over here okay so if i go to my bracket text editor and if i just uh, go to the top and here you can see this we have the uh, background color of ff and i will write over here red and just if i save that and if i just come over here here you can see now our color is in red and now if i hover my button so here you can see now my color is changing beautifully here you can see this okay my button color changes beautifully okay so like this you can make one sign in or a survey form in in html and css okay like i will show you we can also write our name like i am writing shal beg mail address of 1240 at the rate gmail dot com then I will write password so I will show you like how to write password so I will write inshal way here you can see this now my password is coming in circle figures like I have telling you when we are making password one now I will write phone number like zero two five six two five seven one okay like this and I will just write message like I am uh, inshal this I am writing I am inshal inshal way and uh, full stack developer okay like this and now if i send message here you can see now uh, here you can see this now my all things are coming above here you can see here you can see this which i have written here the all things are coming above okay it is also a feature okay but it is automatically in html and css you can do okay so so like this you can make one sign in form means a survey form in python okay so i hope you understand this class and i hope you also enjoy this class like you enjoyed my previous class of html and css okay so just i will uh, uh, going on and putting videos like html and css and we will make many projects with it and i hope you will also enjoy my coming of videos okay so just i will meet you in next class so for today good bye